Okay, this is a continuation video of uh, the section that goes through some circle word problems. Let's take a look at this uh, next question. The pizza pictured is divided into eight equal slices. What is the circumference of the pizza? Well, we can see that this measure must be the radius of this pizza, nine inches. And we know that the circumference is equal to two pi r which is equal to 2 pi times 9. We can multiply the 2 and the 9 together because those are like terms. Don't forget the pi, it doesn't disappear. So it's 18 pi. And since we're measuring in inches, this is going to be 18 inches around the entire, sorry, 18 pi inches around the entire pizza. The next question is, what is the length of the crust for one slice? We've done this kind of problem before. We'll look at it again. What is the length of one, the crust of one slice of pizza? This is a relatively easy problem to solve. The first thing we figured out was the entire circumference and we did that. And we know the length of one crust is done this way. Think about this. If we've got eight equal slices, then we're looking at 1 out of 8 equal slices and that is equal to 1 eighth or 1 out of 8 of the pizza. So think about this as a ratio. It's 1 out of 8. Let me get that written correctly. It's 1 out of 8, or 1 eighth. So to find our length of the crust, we're going to take the entire circumference. Let me write this. The crust of one slice. So you can see where I'm going with this. The crust of one. If I can get that to be readable. Sorry about that. The crust of one slice is equal to the entire circumference times 1 out of 8, or 1 eighth. We only want 1 eighth of the crust, and that will give us the crust for one slice of pizza. So that's going to be equal to, circumference is, we figured that out, was 18 pi times 1 divided by 8. Let's put that in our calculator. 18 pi times 1 divided by 8. And there's how long the crust is. 7.06 or 7.1, so approximately 7.1 inches. Now again, class, I could have used the rules of central angles to figure out how big this central angle is. If we divided 360 by 8, we would know the degrees of every one of these pieces. And we could have used that as our fraction, but it would be the exact same answer. Because that is going to end up reducing or simplifying to 1 eighth. All right, let's take a look at the next question. A windshield wiper is 45 centimeters long. It's a weird diagram, but I can see this is like a picture of a windshield wiper. Let's label this. This is 45 centimeters from here to where it actually has a center. One sweep of the windshield wiper covers 115 degrees. There is our measure of our degrees. Calculate the distance the end of the wiper travels in one sweep. Now I want you to see class. This question is not asking us how much of the windshield does this swipe clear. That would be a sector area. It's asking how far does the end of this windshield wiper travel? That is a arc length. So this is an arc length problem. When you ever get these kind of problems, you got to figure out, are we looking for arc length or are we looking for the sector area? This is an arc length problem. So we know with an arc length problem, the first thing we want to figure out is, let's pretend this makes a whole circle. We want to find the entire circumference. Well, circumference is 2 pi r. That's 2 times pi. And the radius here is 45. And that's 90 pi. And we're looking at a measure of centimeters. So the circumference, if this whole thing made a circle, 
This would be 90 pi centimeters around the entire circle, and we'll assume this point right here is the center of the circle. Now remember our formula for finding arc length. All we have to do is take the circumference and multiply it times how much of the circle circumference we want. Well, we want 115 degrees out of 360 degrees. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Now if you want to if you want to label this just so we see what we're doing, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and label this. Let's say arc length equals the whole circumference times the how much of the circumference we want or the ratio of the circumference or the fraction of the circumference all those can be equally said and they all mean the same thing all right let's go ahead and figure this out so arc length is equal to 90 pi times 115 degrees out of 360 degrees and let's put that in our calculator 90 pi times 115 divided by 360 and we've got 11.78 so 11.8 approximately 11.8 centimeters now that, now that doesn't make sense to me that seems awful small let's do that calculation again maybe I hit a button wrong let's try again 90 pi times 115 divided by 360. Oh, that looks better. Sorry, 90.3. So 90.3 centimeters. Just seems very odd. That was so small. 90.3 centimeters. So if you were going to answer this as a sentence, you would say the distance traveled is about or approximately 90.3 centimeters. 